Well, the, we we both know we're not going to agree on that, but I think it's very disingenuous to call it monogamy when it's not monogamy. Well, and the only reason me off camera. That's like me saying that, you know, inside of this room, you don't really need to say it's like anything. It just the, is blank. a statement of fact, right? No, no, it's not because you're creating a false condition as though life is different when you turn on a camera and turn off a camera. I think when I say monogamy, so if you're is, monogamy is on or is off camera, no, no, I think no, everyone understands. This is really right? important. No, I like, I like where we're at right now. What we're experiencing is that you know what you're doing is wrong. So you have this duality in your mind and in your psyche to make you feel like because because you turn on the camera and because you're getting paid now it's okay when in actual fact I'll tell you how we know it's wrong would you feel comfortable if your father was watching your OnlyFans and subscribing to it probably not no. you would not feel comfortable and I'll tell you why that's because in your heart of hearts in your soul if you still got one you know it's wrong and I'll give you an example that's your work in mm -hmm. my work if my mother consumed my work I'd be thankful and pleased that she took an interest in my work and supported my work if she bought my products I'd be thankful if your mother or father bought your products you'd be disgusted and ashamed because you know what you're doing is wrong and the product of what you're doing is bad first of all i don't do porn on only fans so like, you don't throw me in that okay. but i feel like it's like what, what point, i though? want what i want my dad to watch me having sex with someone else recorded or not like you do things like you don't want your parents to see everything that you're doing did and you understand you my point to him like it's a bad thing like how do you know that they're ashamed real of quick it? did like, you understand my point not. what did you comprehend my point? i understand your point okay, but good, i mean i do agree with him i think off camera, they are monogamous. It, like it's acting. It's like kissing someone in a movie. Like okay, you let have me sex let me give you. Movies. Let me ask you a question. I, I don't do acting. I don't do porn on. <laughs> let OnlyFans, me ask you a question. But I still agree. I do think they are in a monogamous relationship. Off you don't camera. do porn on OnlyFans. I don't. What do you do? Uh, I do like sexy photos. Yeah. Do sexy photos. Just mm -hmm. Nude photos. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Here we got a jokester. <laughs> here we got a jokester. Okay, you got to subscribe. I mean, I don't know. You got to see for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I would never. So. Going back though, what? How do you pitch it to a girl? Like, oh, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. fuck you other women. Ism. You try oh, wait, to get this Butler donated two hundred dollars. <laughs> hey, Mr. Herpsalot. Herpsalot. You did a name. standard herpes test, which shows nothing. You do a Western blot test. Mm. It will likely come back positive, and you will have to disclose to all future partners. Hashtag filthy. Oh my Jay goodness. Butler got Lord. paid today. You spent a lot more time yeah. thinking about this than I Oh man! <laughs> One right. of these days, Adam, I'll have you on the podcast where the not everyone's trying to it's okay. dogpile you. No, no, he, he's got you. Bulletproof. Bulletproof. No, he's bulletproof. He's bulletproof. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, he's bulletproof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Well, uh, so what is the pitch? What's the pitch? Because I'm sure there's men out okay. there that you know would like uh, to have the kind of arrangement right. you have. Oh, I'm good. I can fight back. I'm okay. Right. Okay. So how do you, con like, what's the pitch to the woman? Okay. How do you make, because most women are going to be like, no, I don't want you. Right. With other Or chicks. they're going to try to force some level of, you know, gender feminists, we're equal, we're the same. So mm. if you do it, I do it. Okay. All right. So Adam, you ready for this? Get your pen and paper. Let's go. You ready for this? All right, cool. So the number one foundational piece is selecting the correct woman. I'll give you an example. We're just going to go. Just give me a little bit of time yeah. here. Um, have you ever cheated before? No, never. Never. Have you ever cheated before? No. Would never. they admit it, though? Have you? Why? Have you okay. ever cheated before? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever cheated before? No. You're lying. Have you ever cheated before? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. No, I'll tell you why. No, I will tell you why. I'm not picking on it. I'm going to tell you why. Straighten your mic, please. I, am, I will tell you why. I can read characters very well. Gotcha. There was a gentleman here named Nick. He was explaining to everyone how the show is going to proceed and giving us the basics on, you know, how to pay attention, how to track the speaker, how to be respectful, in other words. There was one person who was not paying attention while he was talking. Who was that? Mm -hmm. That was me. That was you. Yeah. So out of everyone sitting here, why are you the one that's sitting here being disrespectful when he's taking out his time to show you how to best present yourself in front of millions of people? Because I was turning off my alarm. Yeah. And I didn't want to forget to do it later. Sure. I I hear you because you're a disrespectful person and you were okay. rude and catty with him after he told you as a boss I always look at these things because I, I was rude and catty with him because I put my phone away no. I don't think I said anything disrespectful I mean I, 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 understand I agree with you I, I agree that you think you didn't say anything disrespectful I agree that you think you weren't being disrespectful because that's your actual nature so a person like you who is by nature one who is narcissistic and disregards others you're the because one that's on going to cheat. Phone, because I was on my phone when I didn't. When Why I was were you the only one? Out of I got two phones right here. I got two phones. 
Why were you the only Do one? you follow every single fucking rule? Have why you ever had a speeding ticket? Like, why are you, have you so ever angry? Gotten in trouble? Why are you so angry? Like, in I'm just, class? You're just angry right now. I think you're now. just as expressive as I am. You're and angry. I think when a woman, like, kind of, like, barks back at you, it's, it's an issue. Well, there's no like. need to bark but with you've humans. Been, like, you, you know, kind of... I'm just calling a spade a spade. I'm just saying, okay. why were I'm, you? I'm like, asking you a question. Why were you the only one out of everyone here? Why was it you that all of a sudden needed to do that right when he's giving us the directions? Just because I had to do it. Because right, because you didn't and care. Didn't, now, so settle. I don't know so, how being on my to phone correlates to cheating. That's fucking ridiculous. Like, be fucking for real right now. A lot of things will be hard for you to comprehend. That's why you're in sex work, because you can't offer value in the marketplace. What the fuck? Yeah, no, if you have well, legit I think I have no, a lot more to no, offer than if you had significant if you had like, significant that I started one two second, months love. ago, like there's a one lot second, more love. That I would offer than if that. you had love. significant IQ yeah. and skill set, you'd be able to go into the marketplace and earn a good income such that oh, you didn't gotcha. have to do that. Significant so, IQ like the women that you're with that like you cheat on them and so, you, and bring whatever diseases back to them, right? Like those are like I high value you. women, right? I hear like you. right. Yeah. So being that you don't have significant income or the ability to offer skills. I don't have to the a significant income. Okay. Gotcha. Are you, why do you go keep ahead. cutting me off? All right, go ahead. You talk, and then I'll, no. I'll respond. Go no, ahead. No, you talk. I'm, I'll go after. Can you at least scoot saying. your mic yeah. that way? There you go. go she ahead. wasn't listening to the directions. That's why she didn't know. I'm a bad listener. <laughs> just I'm a bad listener, and I'm a cheater. <laughs> okay. All right. Do you want to talk now? I just want to make sure you don't interrupt go me. So go ahead. No, I'm offering you the floor, because you were talking while I was talking. Go ahead. I'm good. You can say what you need to say. Wow. See, your brain did. That's a problem. That's why you have to interrupt me while I'm talking. <laughs> I gave you the floor. You didn't want to take it because you don't have any thoughts or anything to say. I do have Here's thoughts my point. and things to say. And don't worry. I'm not really talking to you. I'm speaking against you as a symbol. Mm -hmm. So don't take personal offense to it. As a symbol, which is what? It. A symbol of what? A symbol of a declining society where people gotcha. lack values. Mm -hmm. So the point is this. If you had IQ and skills mm -hmm. to offer to the marketplace, gotcha. you can earn a good income. Being that the most valuable thing about you is mm -hmm. something that you never earned. You didn't earn knowledge, you didn't earn skills. It's your breast that you paid for and your butthole. So you market that to earn money. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm the one with like the least IQ here, even though I no, do the no, least, no, 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 even no. though I'm, I'm, I do you like might the not least be. amount on OnlyFans, I but, surmise, because, but, but because I'm the only woman who's barking back at you, like I'm this brain dead fucking bimbo who has nothing no, to offer to that's society. Not why. I mean, then what? Then well, why? let's test it. Let's test it real quick. Okay. What's your age? I'm 28, but I'm not testing. Ooh, I'm not doing a test. Uh, you get, okay, you're 28. I'm getting up there. Fans. You're that's right. Amazing. My eggs are drying up. Okay. I'm not going to be fertile. No one's going to want me. I'm not a high okay. value mm -hmm. woman. Like, that's what fine. Else? We're not going there. What? Here's where we're going. If you weren't doing OnlyFans, how would you earn a six figure plus income? I do inter. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> like, speak English. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Nisa. I work. I work at one of the highest club. Highest like. You, I work at one of the best clubs in Las Vegas. You seem like you're having trouble with English for a second. Tell us. I'm perfectly fine with okay. my English. Go on. I'm a little riled up. Yes. I'm I a little, said that like five minutes I'm ago and you little, denied it. I'm a little thrown off okay. by you attacking me because I think a lot of these other That's girls. That's because and nothing, people and never nothing, address and I, you. And I respect. People like, never address you directly. Um, I think you're just attacking me because I'm responding to you and you don't like that and you don't like women who go against what you have to say that's fine. and that's why you choose but the women that do you, you do mind do you mind answering the question i asked you what is the question okay i'll say it one more time what skills do you have that would help you earn a six-figure plus income at age 28 you're right nothing there's nothing that i there's no skills that i have at all you're trying to escape there's nothing but, but I'm there's, saying no, no, there's no skills no right. you're right because you're, you're, right. A, you're a cocktail server right. in las vegas yeah right and there's nothing else yes. that i have to offer and you, she's trying to play it off right now and that's a that's a strategy very nice what's the strategy tell us uh, um Please. but the fact is Doctor. i live in las vegas I, i've seen your type many times generally they're younger gotcha. but the point is this. Old, i know man you're, you're no really honestly they should they should be firing someone marries me. Yeah, like, no, they should be. I don't know about that, but they should certainly be firing you and get someone of the appropriate age to do such a low-level job. Oh, yeah. But the point is this: you, why are you opening your mouth wide like that? It's not time. She, <laughs> Bring I the think, camera I out. She's know, ready. I think she can be shocked. She can do whatever she wants. She's fine. But, but Shock. here's the point. Fine. Here's the point. You're currently a cocktail server, mm -hmm. which consists of, hey, I'll have a Jack and Coke. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you walk away, tell someone else Jack and Coke. Mm -hmm. They hand you a Jack and Coke. You come back and bring it back to me mm -hmm. and hope that I would give you a good tip. Mm -hmm. That's your skill set. Mm -hmm. And what about it? It's a hard work. The and what about it? It's a hard <laughs> right. work. And what about yeah. it? Yeah. There is no skill set is the point, which is to say if I took and your brain, it? if I took your brain and placed your brain into a man's body, you would be in poverty. Mm. You caught me. Because you're brainless. Oh, Carrying on. You're right, yeah. 
I'm just good for nothing. Yep, you comment. No, you are good for something. That's why you have OnlyFans. And that's my point is that oh, that's what you're good yeah. for. And I, I, I'm not trying to be rude, but it's just that we're... I think we're, you are trying to be rude. No, I think, I'm just being yeah, honest. No, I mean, being I honest about what I mean, do you even, be, do you uh, even know who nice. I am as a person? I mean, before, yeah. like, throwing these insults that I'm just this brain dead fucking ad woman hominin. who has nothing no, that's to I think offer? we should avoid ad hominem. But is it that's ad hominem right. when you actually... There were some. There were some. But Brainless my over... Brainless might be a little... Ah, do, you, I think that, do you even know me? Like, ah, you don't even... And you're only calling me brainless because I'm the only one... Responding to you. Do you think you that know what I think? So, so you think, him so a little bit upset. What? Just so you know, mm -hmm. every girl sitting on this side of the table earns more money than him. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> he's an imposter. <laughs> he uh, he's been outed in the past. And he's for, mad about it. He basically he's LARPs Honestly, as a rich guy on the internet. It, if yeah. I was and absolutely I just, poor, it would mean nothing. All the girls, it would mean nothing. I think we all are in kind of an agreement that we don't really want to sit here and listen to someone who's basically a scam artist tell us what's wrong exactly. with our lives. Yeah, this wait, is wait, amazing. What do you do? What do you do? So I'm kind of on money? the edge of what walking out, Brian. I'm gonna be totally right. I'm not walking out on like a climate other pop. I just don't really want to listen to a scam artist tell me what's wrong with my lifestyle. What do you do for work? You can Google my name right now. I don't fucking know right who you are. You Let's, can Google my name If you right Google now. his Does name, know you'll, guy's name? You'll and I heard, exhilarated. I hurt your feelings earlier. and You, you didn't hurt my feelings at all. It's just you're earlier. trying to and do this whole, whole moral superiority thing, and it's not working the whole because chat you're broke. Your feelings. The whole you're chat actually broke. Here's the funny thing. You got a milk dud on top of your head. Here's the funny thing. I'm just being real with you. If I was actually broke, it literally would mean nothing to me. Then what's up? Then prove it. If I put an NFT scam on your fans for like $400. <laughs> Silly checkmate. He, Silly this guy's a scammer. Wait, wait, so, guys, 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 I think scammer. I'm gonna leave, Adam, and if any Adam, girls want to leave wait, wait, with me, Adam, Adam, I'd be happy to take you. With I, hold on, hold he's on. rage quitting. Wait, 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 he's rage quitting. It's not a rage stop, quit. Stop, it's just quitting. you're not on the level he's of me Adam, or any the line, of these girls. Guys, 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 guys hold on. Let's just let's just take a little pause I didn't mean to make him rage quit. I'm done, Brian. I just I don't want to listen to this guy anymore, and I feel like I might do something extreme if I were to stick around. When I first walked in, I said, "You might have to polish that milk." I, when I first <laughs> walked, guys, when guys, I saw you downstairs, you I said, do you want the fade? And wow. you said no. <sighs> okay. See what you're When I first did? walked in, I said, do you Thanks want the lot. fade? You said no. We could have took care of that before the show started. Did you, do you guys have like some pre-existing beef or something? Listen. Can we, okay, can well, we switch Adam? When I came in, when I came in downstairs, the first thing I said, when I saw him, I said, do you need that fade? And he said, no, <sighs> it's just content. Oh, I didn't know you guys had like Yeah, as a, soon as I walked up, I said, do you need that fade? And he said, no, it's just content. This guy? Oh, but I mean, like, did you guys have like a previous... Uh, yeah, wait, because what, I that? went on No Jumper. He waited until I left the state of California, and then he started talking crazy. And I said, if you had an issue with Marquette Devon Burton, you could have said that to me when I was right there in your studio. Like, you don't have to wait oh, until I leave. Did you do an episode with him? I, don't, listen, I was like, you don't have to wait until I, I leave. I don't know. And then he DM'd me on Instagram like, hey, bro, you, we got to like do a show when you come back. It's like Wait, you're phony. She, are you leaving? Yeah. Yeah. The super villain. Damn, the super villain. I'm the super villain what? No, I'm the super villain. Yeah, because you're a fucking dick and you're an idiot. She is angry. She wants her clout. She has like a tear go, go in her eye. Go talk to Adam. She has a tear go. in her eye. That's wild. I have a fucking tear. Here. I she believe tear, in you to get him back. Yeah. Let's like, let's yeah, bring Adam back. Yeah. Let's get like, Adam back. Let's I feel like we all have the same Brian, thoughts. Yes. Brian did not know. You set this up. For the record, when Brian invited me, you said it would be Marquette, Seven Chicks Dating Podcast. Then yeah. today, when I was leaving my hotel, someone texted and said, Adam 22 will be there. Me, I'm very straightforward. Mm -hmm. I'm, all, I'm the same person. Sure. On, online and offline. Sure. And he was talking reckless. That's why when I first saw him, I didn't be phony. I walked straight up to mm. him. I said, do you want that fade? He declined the fade. Cool. Let's do the content. But he was not supposed to be here. You, you guys didn't tell me he was here until I had already spent a tremendous amount of money, got out here, okay. and I was on my way. I did not. I had no idea. So it was like idea. a setup. No, 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 no. I had no idea that I don't watch his podcast on frequently. I didn't know that you guys had any issues whatsoever. I don't I'm have an issue. Pretty. I don't have an issue because for me, okay. it's like when I saw you outside and I said, do you want that fade? And you declined the fade. You mean Adam? Adam, right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He declines the fade. Then there's no issue. It's just like, let's handle the business. Yeah. I didn't know and that. And it was... seems like he got emotional. I don't know why he's so angry. Okay. Because he said there was no, no problem. He said it's content. Why not do the content? 
Okay. Yeah. Um, he has his feelings hurt. I think it's just like he feels ashamed about what he's doing. Okay. It, it hurt his feelings. Like, he, like, makes up something about me. I didn't get, like, all emotional. Like, oh, my God. you Like, it doesn't bother me. It's like but, silliness. But being fully up yeah. front, I had no idea that I, I guess he made a, I don't Have believe I don't believe that, but I'm not bothered by it. I still showed up. No, I'm right. I'm yeah. being totally honest. And everyone like, else drove know. here. I flew here, right? Sure. I flew so, here too, but oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Don't include me. I mean, regardless if you flew here or drove here, like no, it a, was still like literally no, a seven-hour drive. No, no, I'm not saying that there's anything <laughs> wrong. The reason I said that is because the difference between a man flying here and driving here is what you can bring with you. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you right. can bring more stuff. Right, I get it. Right. So, so I flew here, and there's, I couldn't even, you can't even fly. There's not a private opportunity to fly into Santa Barbara that I could find. I'd have to ask you about that. No, you can fly like Southwest. It's fine. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, I had airport. to fly commercial here. Yeah, that's fine. So there's a difference between what you can bring and what you can't bring. So I walked into a situation knowing I'm dealing with someone that I have a beef with, right, where he drove here and I flew here. You, are you catching on? No, yeah, it's fine. No, it's not fine. really, I'm because, sure I mean, regardless, so, we all, all took good. time to be here, so. I mean, I can reiterate, though, I was not aware. You guys seemed totally cool at the beginning of the... I didn't I know. Was, I, I was totally Have cool. Have you been on this show before? I went on No Jumper. And I didn't know... Okay. I'm, yeah. I mean, I didn't know that there was a, a beef between Honestly, you Honestly, once I ask you, do you want the fade, and you say no, to me, there's no beef. He okay. said, he said, it's just, let's just do the content. I said, fantastic. Let's just do the content. I didn't expect him to get emotional. I mean, maybe he didn't want beef like right before the show because it could drag out. No, because if it's beef, then it is beef, right? So like the okay, thing is, fair, yeah. you understand what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. If it's beef, then like, let's get it in. Because like, if he's saying what's true about his net worth, he okay, doesn't need the money. Well, let's say you money. guys did fight. Then it'd be like weird. You guys sitting across the table from me. No, it wouldn't. After. after that, it wouldn't. One of us. I mean, probably I'm both of us. So maybe I'm probably just both of that. us wouldn't be here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like he'd be in the hospital and I'd be on my way elsewhere, you know? Okay. So yeah. Does he have like at least a foot on you? What do you mean? Like he's taller. He's like. Have you seen what? him? Yes. Have he's you not seen the same him? Size? Oh my God. I don't know, man. We were all uh, standing in a circle. Let's not fight, though. We're not. We're not. Down. Down. No violence. Yeah. No Is violence. She coming back or? Yeah, she is. is Adam coming back? Okay. Um, well. I have <laughs> no. Yeah, I know that's crazy. That has never happened on the show you before. never had the super villain on the show before is that you the super villain the warrior king okay yeah. what's your super apparently. villain name apparently the saint in the center okay the saint in the center yeah yeah i if i had known that there was like some beef between you guys i would have scheduled you guys on different I'm, days i'm Adam not was buying kinda... that because you told me when you invited me on that it would be me and seven chicks and Wait, to bring at hold on and to bring adam no, no, well let me let me make something clear so for the vast majority of the guests we bring on uh -huh. We don't disclose who the other guests are. When you're coming, you're it's... You're saying multiple guys. What's that? You're saying there's multiple males. Well, actually, Charlie Kirk was supposed to... I don't want to... We were going to okay. have Charlie Kirk here tonight. Cool. Uh, and that's what precipitated me wanting to bring Adam on. But uh, I'm okay. not privy to the Chuck beef that you okay. and Adam had, but... Fair enough. Mr. Herpes had no problem with Mr. Devon. That's a smoke screen. Uh-oh. This is about herpes, <laughs> genital herpes. Oh He's a play grass. Patient zero and Brian, Damn. you need to wash yourself in bleach. It's airborne. <laughs> it's airborne. Oh. Damn. But I, uh, yeah, I mean, we don't really we don't Fair disclose enough. any of the guests and. Okay, but at the end of the day, it's just the sword of truth is sharp. I mean, that's just all there is to it. If there was earlier, you guys heard Adam say, "You cannot hurt my feelings." He literally said that, and then his feelings got hurt, and then he ran off. And okay. he's in the podcast game. I saw on his podcast, he set up a 19-year-old kid, a little Kelpie, to get well, punched here. out. Let's try to bring it back to the actual <laughs> dating talk. Okay. Yeah. Adam's left. Fair enough. Uh, so is she coming back? Or? She's right oh, she's coming back. So why don't we get rid of that microphone? Uh, Devon yeah. Jackson donated $200. It's wild Adam gets more triggered at a man speaking words to him than another man breaking his wife's back and Ooh. finishing in Jervis Casinets. What a time to be alive. <laughs> uh, yo, Davon Jackson, thank you, man. Appreciate it. So what we're going to have... Oh, she, she just in the bathroom. Guys, we're going to do a couple uh, seating adjustments here. 
it is kind of funny the grifter calling the blank cuck out and they both get pissy for real though Adam is an MMA guy and he would have wrecked bargain basement <laughs> shaft what nice. uh, okay thank you <laughs> thank you grid one Jesus Christ one welcome to the whatever podcast yeah. guys where uh, uh, it's always it uh, something interesting going on let me read a couple of the other chats here while we get everything adjusted here guys uh, we did we take one of the microphones off the table Nick okay all right we have a uh, Bender the Offender, question for the entire panel. Do y'all think the average man is less respectable than the average OF prawn woman? Starting with you. We'll, go, we'll start Could with you. Could you repeat that? <laughs> yeah, that even Do you think the average man is less... Do you think the average man is less respectable... Well, what's the definition of an average man? ...respectable than the average OF prawn woman? I mean, I don't even... <laughs> Like, what kind well, what's of the definition of an average man? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say any average man. A man who man makes under like 70K a year? I mean, like an average man in terms of income? Or, or like what are we referring to? Sex life or what? what but probably, probably average question. guy you see, like when you go out and walk down the street, just a regular guy you see. I mean, I, I wouldn't be able to say because I don't know the person. You know, I think that's different for every person. It doesn't matter their income, if they're average, like whatever it is. I mean, it would I just agree. depend on the person. Okay. But I think as a whole, probably OnlyFans girls are probably less respected or looked at a little bit more negatively. Well, okay. definitely. I, I do OnlyFans. I'm just like, I'm saying, right, like, right. I think, mm -hmm. yeah, like, you know, the stigma of like being an OnlyFans girl, you know, yeah, being no, a sex worker. Yeah, no, because if I just yeah, flat sure. out would say, like, yeah, I do OnlyFans, like, people aren't really going to respect that. Yeah. They have to get to know you as a whole and all yeah. that. I agree. Yeah. Anybody Thanks. else? Anybody else <laughs> on this? Okay. Uh, oh my god, bro, the chats are just going <laughs> to focus entirely, <laughs> entirely on this, yeah. the entire show. Okay, I'll read it. Um, yo, Meta Level, Saint talks like Ch Shang Tsung in MK1. Oh my god, guys. Oh Slimy snakes um, oil. I'll let snake oil sells me. Okay. Who sneak disses and is condescending for no reason. Factually wrong, manipulative, and is everything wrong with toxic strong personalities. I may Very have good. to second that. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, we have... Oh, yeah. One man 540 donated $200. Brian, will you ever play music? Singing High Road by Cults. Lots of brothers died to this thing. Hope you are pro-recovery. <laughs> the women are retarded AF. Oh. Can't yes, say the R word. Bone Man 538. <laughs> oh, those words are so keep funny going. to me. Yo, uh, Bone Man, <laughs> thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, good to see you uh, back in it's the so uh, chat. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Love you, one man. Uh, Isn't that a copyright thing? You can't play music, right? I do. Just, just moving forward for everybody. I know we had a couple heated moments here. I would like everyone to, uh, if we can, let's avoid... Uh, any sort of name calling or insulting sure. anybody, but let's just I have agree. a good, let's have a fun. Let's have fun. Yeah. Let's have happy. fun. Let's have fun. Let's have fun. Can we have fun? Can we have fun? You tell us. Can we have fun? You can we have fun? Yes. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get this back on track. Which of you home wreckers claim to be feminist? What do you offer in a relationship besides oh sex and a bad attitude? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Uh, this is going to be a doozy show right? tonight, eh? The only one who wants to take care of me, there you go. I have nothing to offer. Brain dead. Good Just letting nothing. you know that right now. Good, good talk. Like fake tips. Okay. okay, all right. <laughs> Oh, all right. Uh, Anyone else want to answer? Or do we all motorsports. agree? We're all good for nothing. Over We're all good for nothing. Yep, just okay. nothing. Okay. nothing. Nothing. <laughs> you nothing can't attack us if we table. already say. What do you have to I mean? offer? As well, a wife, offer? Yes. well, actually, I like to serve my husband. I did political stuff beforehand, but I do yeah. love to serve my husband. I'm a mother, which is the most fulfilling thing I've ever done in my life. Mm -hmm. And I've never been a feminist. I've always been very conservative. But I did used to ascribe to the kind of career, like boss babe lifestyle, where I used to never want to get married. I did have a boyfriend for three to four years. I He said he wanted to marry me. I told him, don't propose to me, because um, I never wanted to marry him, mostly because he just was very not ambitious and as a woman you kind of want a man that's more ambitious mm -hmm. than you like exactly. yep. I did love him at first or I think I, I thought I did but then over time I was way more ambitious than him so I just wasn't attracted to him but I was an atheist in my past life and I'm now a Christian and I realized that you know I used to want to be prioritize a career but I can promise you girls that the best thing you can do is be a homemaker serve your husband raise a child and I know it sounds 
crazy. I know it sounds crazy, but I, I used to li not the OnlyFans lifestyle. I didn't do that, but I do think that you have things to offer. I really do. And honestly, like you were talking about low IQ and stuff like that. But honestly, the higher an IQ a woman has, the more likely she is to get divorced. It's actually 70% of divorces are initiated by women, and 90% of those are college-educated women. So I wouldn't even say being necessarily See? smart and intelligent. Good that I'm brain dead. No, that was yeah, that was. Edu want to feel she like was talking power. about education. So a man not want to IQ. marry me. Continue. No, she was talking about education, not IQ. But IQ, go ahead. though, too. IQ, though, too. So I just want to say, you have, it's not just that you need to be crazy intelligent. There are things that you can offer, and there you can turn your life around. I didn't always ascribe to being like a trad wife or a wife serving my husband. Mm -hmm. You can change your life around, and you can be happier, I promise you. And you, you guys are worth more than selling your pictures and videos online. I say that respectfully. You guys are. I think are. we were all saying it jokingly that we're worth nothing. Right. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I, no, I get that. I get that. But I feel like deep down sometimes, I'm not saying you girls do but sometimes women do feel like oh the only thing I can offer is quick money with using my body and that's not true you do have a lot to offer the world like a husband and raising kids which is the most important thing you can do especially as a woman we're nurturing creatures mm -hmm. I actually agree with you on that yeah, yeah like like eventually down the line you know I would love to settle down and I would love to just you know like when I am in a relationship for instance I will do anything for my man I will I love to cook for him I love to clean like I want him to come home like feeling just like you know that's a safe place mm -hmm. he can you know just mm -hmm. relax I'll take care of him like I love those womanly roles um so I agree with you awesome. yeah. Yeah. I agree I'm pretty traditional yeah. I agree traditional. too yeah. and I think like I'm from Eastern Europe it's normal for a girl like us that we are always spoil our mm. boyfriend mm -hmm. yeah I'm, I'm cooking i'm cleaning every day i do everything for my boyfriend mm -hmm. so it's natural that i did think that i uh, work for only fans that doesn't mean that i didn't do something with like this at home you know what i mean do you worry that doing only fans might prohibit you from finding a worthy husband in the future i don't think so i don't it's under a fake name I can delete everything and everyone fights so hard to be relevant on social media so the second I stop trying to be relevant I won't be but why do you feel like you would need to do under a fake name like that's the point I'm making because oh well I don't want it to come back on my family I don't want my parents yeah. to get mean messages mm -hmm. and is it like a no face or no 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 my face is on there but um I just think it's you know, I don't want people finding my parents' address, stuff like that. Like, I just don't yeah. think that's safe. It's safer to have a fake name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think there was a point, like, that's why it took me so long to mm -hmm. make an OnlyFans because um, I think I was thinking about, you know, how would my family take this? Like, you know, a potential partner. Um, I still, you know, I keep it spicy, but, like, it's still, you know, I'm not doing any porn or anything. So I think I probably... Um, what would the word be like excuse it like oh okay like it's okay because i'm not doing porn, right. you know um but i could see how some men could probably not want to be with a girl who does only fans and that's completely respectable like mm -hmm. i i completely understand that and i just think that those kind of men probably just aren't men that we're aligned with like i probably just wouldn't be with a man who you know thinks that only fans girls are fucking sluts and you know deserve nothing like i would probably end up with a man who is a lot more open-minded and you know can see the possibilities that um and opportunities that come with you know making a lot of money from only fans i know a lot of girls like a lot of girls who make only fans money like are traditional women and they like to take care of their man and you know and they invest in other things like these aren't this isn't something that i plan to do forever and i'm sure some of the girls that do it know that they can't do it forever either would you be okay like just serving a husband and living that more traditional lifestyle sound like pleasant to you 